The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they will be my people. This is what the Lord says. The people who survive the sword will find favor in the wilderness. I will come to give rest to Israel. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I will build you up again, and you, virgin Israel, will be rebuilt again. You will take up your timbrels and go out to dance with the joyful. Again, you will plant vineyards on the hills of Samaria. The fa uh, farmers will plant them and enjoy their fruit. There will be a day when watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim. Come, let us go to the Zion, to the Lord our God. This is what the Lord says. Sing with joy for Jacob. Shout for the foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard and say, Lord, save your people. The remnant of Israel. See, I will bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the ends of the earth. Among them will be the blind and the lame, expected mothers and women in labor. A great throng will return. They will come with weeping. They will pray as I bring them back. I will lead them beside streams of water on a level path where they will not stumble. Because I am Israel's father and Ephraim is my firstborn son. Hear the word of the Lord, you, you nations. Proclaim it in distant coastlands. He who scattered Israel will gather them and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. For the Lord will deliver Jacob and redeem them from the hand of those stronger than they. They will come and shout for joy on the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord. The grain, the new wine and the olive oil, the young of the flocks and herds, they will be like a well-watered garden, and they will sorrow no more. Then young women will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. I will satisfy the priests with abundance, and my people will be filled with my bounty, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. A voice is heard in Rama, mourning and great weeping, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. This is what the Lord says. Restrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for your work will be rewarded, declares the Lord. They will return from the land of the enemy. So there is hope for your descendants, declares the Lord. Your children will return to their own land. I have surely heard Ephraim's mourning, moaning. You disciplined me like an unruly calf, and I have been disciplined. Restore me and I will ret return, because you are the Lord my God. After I strayed, I repented. After I came to understand, I beat my breast. I was ashamed and humiliated because I bore the disgrace of my youth. It is not Ephraim, my dear son. The child in whom I delight is not Ephraim, my dear son. The child in whom I delight, though I often speak against him, I still remember him. Therefore, my heart yearns for him. I have great compassion for him, declares the Lord. Set up road signs, put up guideposts, take note for the highway, the road that you take. Return, virgin Israel, return your, to your towns, 
How long will you wander, unfaithful daughter Israel? The Lord will create a new thing on earth. The woman will return to the man. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. When I bring them back from captivity, the people in the land of Judah and in it, its towns will once again use these words. The Lord bless you, you prosperous city, you sacred mountain. People will live together in Judah and all its towns, farmers and those who move about with their flocks. I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. At this, I awoke and looked around. My sheep, uh, my sleep had been pleasant to me. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will plant the kingdoms of Israel and Judah with the offspring of people and of animals. Just as I watched over them to uproot and tear down and to overthrow, destroy and bring disaster, so I will watch over them to build and to plant declares the Lord. In those days, people will no longer say the parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever sits or whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt. Because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel. After that time, declares the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbor or say to another, know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord, for I will forgive their wickedness. And I will remember their sins no more. This is what the Lord says. He who appoints the sun to shine by day, who decrees the moon and stars to shine by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. Only if these decrees vanish from my sight, declares the Lord, will Israel ever cease being a nation before me. This is what the Lord says, only if the heavens above can be measured and the foundations of the earth below be searched out. Will I reject all the descendants of Israel because of all they have done, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when this city will be rebuilt for me from the tower of Hananiah to the corner gate. The measuring line will stretch from their strait to the hill of Gareb and then turn to Goa. The whole valley where dead bodies and ashes are thrown and all the terraces out, of, out to the Kidron Valley on the east as far as the corner of the horse gate will be holy to the Lord. The city will never again be uprooted or demolished. Chapter 32 Jeremiah buys a field. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. The army of the king of Babylon was then besieging Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was confined in the courtyard of the guard in the royal palace of Judah. Now Zedekiah King of Judah had imprisoned him there, saying, Why do you prophesy as you do? You say, This is what the Lord says. I am about to give this city into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he will capture it. Zedekiah, king of Judah, will not escape the Babylonians, but will certainly be given to the hands of the king of Babylon. 
and will speak with him face to face and see him with his own eyes. He will take Zedekiah to Babylon, where he will remain until I deal with him, declares the Lord. If you fight against the Babylonians, you will not succeed. Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came to me. Hanamel, son of Shalom, your uncle, is going to come to you and say, Buy my field at Anathoth, because as nearest relative, it is your right and duty to buy it. Then just as the Lord had said, my cousin Hanamel came to me in the courtyard of the garden and said, buy my field at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin, since it is your right to redeem it and possess it, buy it for yourself. I knew that this was the word of the Lord, so I brought the field. I bought the field at Anathoth from my cousin Hanamel, and weighed out for him seventeen shekels of silver. I signed and sealed the deed, had it witnessed, and weighed out of, out the silver on the scales. I took the deed of purchase, the sealed copy containing the terms and conditions as well as the unsealed copy and i gave this deed to baruch son of neriah the son of messiah in the presence of my cousin hanamel and of the witness who had signed the deed and of all the jews sitting in the court courtyard of the guard in their presence i gave baruch these instructions this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Take these documents, both the sealed and unsealed copies of the deed of purchase, and put them in a clay jar so they will last a long time. For this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Houses, fields, and vineyards will again be bought in this land. Therefore I had given the deed of purchase to Baruch, son of Neriah, I prayed to the Lord, Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show love to the thousands, but bring the punishment for the parents' sins into the laps of their children after them. Great and mighty God, whose name is the Lord Almighty, Great are your purposes and mighty are your deeds. Your eyes are open to the ways of all mankind. You reward each person according to their conduct and as their deeds, are de deeds deserve. You performed signs and wonders in Egypt and have continued them to this day in Israel and among all mankind and have gained the renown that is still yours. You brought your people Israel out of Egypt with signs and wonders, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with great terror. You gave them this land you had sworn to give their ancestors a land flowing with milk and honey. They came in and took possession of it, but they did not obey you or follow your law. They did not do what you commanded them to do. So you brought all the dis disgrace, uh, disaster on them. See how the siege ramps are build the, uh, built up to take the city. Because of the sword, famine, and plague, the city will be given into the hands of the Babylonians who are attacking it. What you said has happened, as you now see. And though the city will be given into the hands of the Babylonians, you, sovereign lord, say to me, buy the field with silver and have the transaction witnessed. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Therefore this is what the Lord says. I am about to give this city into the hands of the Babylonians and to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon who will capture it. The Babylonians 
who are attacking this city will come in and set it on fire. They will burn it down along with the houses where the people are roused by anger by burning incense on their roof, on the roofs or to Baal and by pouring out drink offerings to other gods. The people of Israel and Judah have done nothing but evil in my sight from their youth. Indeed, the people of Israel have done nothing, about, nothing but arouse my anger with what their hands have made, declares the Lord. From the day it was built until now, this city has so aroused my anger and wrath that I must remove it from my sight. The people of Israel and Judah have provoked me by all the evil they have done. They, their kings and officials, their priests and prophets, the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, they turn their backs to me and not their faces. Though I taught them to uh, again and again, they would not listen or respond to discipline. They set up their vile images in the house that bears my name and defiled it. They built high places for Baal in the valley of Ben Hinnom to sacrifice their sons and daughters to Mulek, though I never commanded, nor did it enter in my mind that they should do such a detestable thing and so make Judah sin. you are saying about this city by the sword famine and plague it will be given into the hands of the king of babylon but this is what the lord the god of israel says i will surely gather them from all the lands where i banish them in my furious anger and great wrath i will bring them back to this place and let them live in safety they will be my people and i will be their god I will give them single, uh, singleness of heart and action so that they will always fear me and that all will then go well for them and for their children after them. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to them. I will inspire them to fear me so that they will never turn away from me. I will rejoice in doing them good and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and soul. This is what the Lord says, as I have brought all this great calamity on this people, so I will give them all the prosperity I have promised them. Once more, Fields will be bought in this land of which you say it is a desolate waste, without people or animals, for it has been given into the hands of the Babylonians. Fields will be bought for silver and deeds will be signed, sealed and witnessed in the territory of Benjamin, in the villages around Jerusalem, in the towns of Judah and in the towns of the hill country of the western foothills and of the Negev, because I will restore their fortunes, declares the Lord. Amen.